Before the actual video starts, just a small proof that I own Spyro 1 physical copies, so nothing illegal here. Oi there, Sudivius, all Classic Gamer here, and welcome to my brand new tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how can you put any PlayStation 1 game on the PS Vita, be it on the PlayStation Store or not. So, you can, you're going to be able to play any any game ever made. The first thing you need to do is make sure uh, the cable uh, is connected uh, to your Vita and on your computer. And then, we need to, I'm going to show the actual steps on the computer. Haha! <laughs> As you can guys see, I have uh, Spyro 1 right here, ready. Uh, when you open the folder, you see eBoot and uh, the other important documents, I guess. These two are not so important, to be honest. The eBoot is the main thing, but the other two don't really... Uh, don't, are okay, I guess. So, we, we can do it like this. So, I'm not gonna be providing any links for eBoot. You can just Google Spyro 1 eBoot and you're, you, you're probably gonna find it or any other game you want because this video is for educational purpose. Uh, but you can find it very, very easily. What you need to do now is go in a new folder and uh, make a folder called Game. It needs to be with all capitals and drag the folder inside. Then you need to make another folder called uh, PSP also with capital letters and do it like this then you need to add to our hive winrar basic program you can find it uh, just by googling winrar download make sure it's zip and uh, you need to name it install.zip all capitals and now it's creating an R hive now this this is very important uh, these steps that i showed uh, are necessary if you do it uh, on some other way and not uh, like I showed, this is not gonna work. So I really recommend you listen to me and uh, just uh, do how I showed. And this is gonna be fast, so worry not. So this is least little PSP, game, Sparrow, uh, eBoot inside. Now we can put that in recycle bin, we don't need it anymore. Uh, but now we go to My Documents and PS Vita. And uh, PS Seda. Now, this here is automatically created uh, uh, when you download the Content Manager Assistant, or even you can also download the uh, QCMA. That's also another program. Basically, it looks really similar to Content Manager Assistant, but this is a third party, not official by Sony. It has a little bit more functions. As you can see, I'm gonna run it. Uh, it says connected because my Vita is connected to to PC. So let me just uh, show it to you. You can see it looks pretty much uh, the same, except it also has a package option. We put packages here. Uh, here is uh, I already have this installed, so I can remove it. Uh, it's basically Project Diva F second. Uh, that was the package file for it. So it, it has another function for it. You can install packages. Uh, which is which can be useful, I suppose. And uh, but that's not for this uh, tutorial. How to install packages? We what we need to do is PS Vita, uh, PS Save Data here and these two folders. Now, this folder right here, you can find it in my other tutorial that I uh, that I already made about uh, playing PSP games on PS Vita. So we're also gonna need it again, like. Uh, uh, Tokyo Travel, I already explained. So now what you want to do is uh, drag install zip inside. <coughs> now that we did that, we also need another save uh, save uh, file. Uh, it's for Tekken uh, 2. I'm going to be leaving a link in the description. So make sure uh, both of these files are uh, inside the PS Vita save data and that you have everything open like this. So, now we go on PS Vita. Alright, after you're done uh, putting uh, Spyro inside this uh, uh, save folder for Tokyo Travel, uh, now what you wanna do, you need to quit the program, uh, disconnect, that's what I say, and connect it uh, again. 
Now this is important because if you if you don't do it, uh, then uh, uh, it's not gonna work because you just added a new file here and uh, yeah. Now we click uh, Content Manager, uh, Copy Content. Now it's connecting. The device I want to connect a PC, a USB cable, of course. So we're gonna be doing it. Yeah, it is connected. Now we select the PC to PS Vita system applications. And now, first thing, you need to transfer the Tekken to save file. I already did it, so just click copy. And then you go on PSP, other, select a Talkman Travel Tokyo, copy. And now you're gonna see uh, it says, Do you want to override the saved data? Uh, yes, because you're adding a new game. And now we wait. As you could see, it is around 300 and something uh, megabytes. That's because the Spyro eBoot is inside the save uh, folder for this game and that is necessary in order to transfer the eBoot on your PS Vita and when you do it, then you can pretty much just uh, start, the, start the game. Okay, this is gonna be fast, 25, 17, come on, just do it. 10, 0, that's that's nice, and now it did it. So we're going to we're going to go back, but just make sure you also transfer a uh, Tekken 2 uh, save file. And now we launch Talkman Trouble Tokyo. Oh yeah, let's wait. Now we all know how this exploit works. Uh, uh, you don't need to trigger something; it, it goes automatically. It just goes Sonic Computer Entertainment presents. Uh, and um, these logos, and then it's gonna say uh, memory stick duo access indicator. Like, like fuck, seriously, this does not use memory stick duo. Well, of course, it's a PSP game, but it just reminds me of the, the stupid fact that Vita uses a freaking overpriced memory cards. What the hell are you doing, Sony? And now, uh, it's gonna be black screen for a second, and uh, we have now this. What the hell, they're asking me to configure this shit again. Uh, English, who cares. Okay, they're asking my time zone. So, where can I freaking find it? There it is. Uh, time, I don't care. I guess it's correct. Nickname. I don't know, sometimes they're gonna ask you after you override the save file, but I guess it's... Okay, I should back up the new save file with all the this information already in, so they don't do this every time. Uh, okay, let me just go. Team settings, uh, original, classic. Color, let's use a better color. Okay, maybe not better, but uh, something... Uh, that I currently want to use, because uh, the previous one was nice too. Now, uh, we go in memory stick, and we're gonna see Spyro the Dragon. Now, maybe your reboot is gonna look different if you find it from some other source. I, this is where I got mine, the rip from a PlayStation Store, so it looks exactly like a legit one. Uh, but yeah, you can maybe you maybe get something else. Maybe it has a custom animation like the regular PSP games have. I don't know. Anyways, you press the triangle. I go on install. Do you want to install? Yes. Now here it's gonna say 96 kilobytes. I have no idea why do they say 96 kilobytes because that's not how much uh, this is. And I'm going to fast forward to this because it's. Uh, it's basically gonna take some time. You can see the USB is recognized as a charger, but you can't access the USB from a, like a USB option in the menu, which is a shame because that will make uh, the whole process of transferring games way easier because uh, you can just uh, 
you can just then pretty much do the same thing, just connect it and go on computer, but no, it's protected somehow, I don't know, Total Noob couldn't do it, so I guess uh, it's impossible. Install completed, uh, do you want to delete the file? You need to click here, yes, it's not deleting the game itself, but just the file in a um, save folder, so now it's transferred on memory card uh, separately. Now you're not gonna see it, so go here, go on save data utility, and then go back like this, and you're gonna see it. It's right here. Now you can actually launch the game from here, but uh, if you do it, it's really not gonna be, it's not gonna be alright because it's gonna have a fucked up sound. So, wait a second, my OCD is not letting me that game be on top, so time for me to launch a homebrew, a like, sort of thing. Now, we can see, we, we don't see a game here because, I don't know, Vita is protected somehow. Now we launch Tekken 2. We see this warning screen that is very popular on when you like play PS1 games. I don't know. We're gonna see PlayStation logo. Good, I guess. Come on, just hurry up. Namco. By the way, if you want to play Tekken uh, for real, make sure you have a backup save file of with the exploit. Now you need to go on survival mode. You need to pick June. Don't pick any other character. Random fight against Paul. Let's uh, do it. Come on, come on, kill me, kill me. You need to lose, uh, or this uh, won't work. Come on. Come on, just a little more. Perfect for him, I guess. Now we skip. And we can see we're in the secret menu. From here, we can select Spyro 1, which is transferred. And uh, wait some time. And we're ready to rock. So, you can guys see Spyro 1 fully playable on Vita, despite not being uh, purchasable from PlayStation Store, because, uh, I don't know, technically, you, you can maybe, you, you can say it's Activision all you want, but no, it's not. Sony has the full right to these games, uh, the early Spyro games, and they can distribute it how much they want. Activision can't uh, forbid them to sell this online. I mean, Sony still has the license for the old games. They're not the owners of the IPs itself, but they do have license to distribute those games. So that's not the reason. What's the reason? I have no idea. Uh, but they're acting. Let's go. Slot 1, I guess. Create file. Yeah. A new game. And we can see Spyro works. So. With this tutorial, now that you know all the steps, you can pretty much uh, do it for every PS1 game that exists. I don't know if there is anything uh, not working. Uh, let's skip this. So, yay, yay for Spyro. We can now play Spyro's best games on the go. This works, of course, for Spyro, Spyro 2 and uh, 3 as well. And since I was holding it right here and this was for my main computer, I did not uh, use a tripod, so yeah, can play it really well. But uh, at least I'm able to showcase... Uh, come on, can you skip this? God. Nope, this one can be skipped, I guess. But yeah, we can see Spyro plays perfect. Uh, jump, I suppose. Yeah. Charge attack. Yeah, Spyro works. So, hope you guys enjoyed. And when you pause, you can see it's right here. If you hold, they're still gonna think you're in Tekken 2. So, that's cool. And uh, the only downside is you need to do every time when you wanna play uh, Spyro or any other game, you need to enter Tekken 2. 
lose the battle and uh, then it goes to menu. It's not automatic, but ah oh well, that's how it is. Better than nothing. Well, hope you guys enjoyed and uh, share your thoughts. Like, let me know what you guys think about this uh, tutorial and this method. Like, are you happy that you can do this? Do you wish Sony actually allowed these games to be purchasable from PlayStation Store? Like, give your thoughts and see you guys later. Jamatane.